This is Hema Z16 Max, a compact e-bike with 16-inch wheels, which is developed strictly in accordance with the EU CE legal requirements and rigorous quality control tests. In this video, I wanted to go through the key features, pros and cons, so you can decide if this bike is right for you. The bike comes in a rather small box and it is really well packed. It arrived without any damage and almost fully assembled. First of all, this is the review of the Z16 Max model which has official CE certification from SGS Lab to meet EU legal requirements. In comparison to the regular Z16, it has gone through more rigorous tests, it does not have the throttle, the front light is a bit different, the handlebar grips, pedals and frame fixing are of better quality and so on. I will leave the link in the video description for a detailed comparison if you're interested. The Z16 Max has 16-inch wheels that make the bike compact by itself, but if you fold it, which takes just a few seconds, you can easily fit it in the car's trunk, an elevator or bring it to the office. A well thought out feature, folding magnets that keep both parts of the bike together when folded. A little yet super important feature which prevents the bike from rattling. The volume is about quarter cubic meters after folding. The downside, the hinge that allows you to fold the bike in half is very stiff but I hope it will loosen up over time. The bike is powered by a 250 watt rear hub motor which can be triggered by pedaling. You can choose from three pedal assist modes, eco, medium and high. As usual, I mostly used a high mode for the best performance. The bike computer shows other information like battery left, real time speed, odometer and trip distance. Press and hold the plus button and you will turn on the front and rear lights, which are one of the nicest I've seen on any bike. The front light is very bright and it illuminates the road nicely in low light. The rear light is probably the brightest I've seen on an e-bike and it doubles as a brake light just like on a car. We also have reflectors on the front and rear for extra safety. The bike LCD also has a nice backlight for low light visibility and it is IPX7 certified for water resistance. Since throttles on e-bikes are not legal in the streets of EU, the Z16 Max does not have one. Initially, I was skeptical about the lack of the throttle but after using the bike for quite some time, I was surprised by the synthesis between the pedals and the motor. More on riding performance in just a bit. The overall build quality of the bike is excellent. The bike is made of aluminum alloy, it has high quality metal fenders and it weighs 22.5 kilograms. It is well constructed and if you ask me, this is one of the nicest looking compact bikes, especially in this white color finish. We have premium CST anti-skid tires and mechanical disc brakes on the front and rear. The load capacity is 100 kilograms. My weight is about 75 kilos. The seat post height can be adjusted, but the handlebar post cannot, which is one of the shortcomings of the bike. On the other hand, the height feels just fine for me. The overall riding experience is great, despite the lack of the throttle. You simply need to pedal gently and you'll feel when the motor kicks in. Honestly, sometimes it feels that the motor drags your feet even if you're riding uphill. This is one of the better pedal assist implementations I've seen. In comparison, you need to pedal a bit harder on other e-bikes to keep the electric motor engaged which makes you a bit more tired after a while. With the Z16 Max, you kind of pretend to be pedaling because you don't need to use a lot of force. It's more like moving your legs and the motor does the rest if you are on the maximum pedal assist mode. If you want to exercise a little, simply switch to eco mode which will also help conserve energy of the battery. However, if you run into a steeper hill, you would need to switch to the high power mode, especially considering the fact that the bike has a single gear system. I found the Z16 Max to be smooth to ride, the saddle is comfortable to sit on, the bike feels very stable on the road and 25 km per hour is enough for safe riding in the city. Well, the front suspension would have been nice but the rear suspension works really well in practice as it absorbs most of the bumps. The braking distance is about 4 meters on a dry asphalt and 6 meters on the wet one. 
I didn't test the exact distance, but I can say that the brakes are very effective in practice. The handlebar width is very important for the bike's stability on the road and the Z16 Max has a wide handlebar with comfortable grips and brake levers. We have a mechanical ringer, which is not the loudest I've heard, but it does the job. The Z16 Max has a 36 volts 10.5 amps battery, which during my test allowed me to ride for about 60 kilometers on a single charge. If you use the bike in eco mode, you may be able to get the advertised 80 km range under ideal conditions. In other words, the declared 80 km range is realistic, but you need to pedal more to achieve that. One of the key selling points to me, a removable battery which allows me to take it home to recharge it and leave the bike in the garage. Another highlight, the battery anti-theft lock which requires the supplied key to take the battery out. Charging time is about 6.5 hours. Overall, I really like the Himo Z16 Max. Despite a few minor flaws like a very stiff hinge and the lack of the handlebar post height adjustment, everything about this bike screams quality. I love the design, excellent build quality, good materials and paint finish, the riding experience is great, the removable battery lasts a long time and the front and rear lights are one of the best I've seen on a compact e-bike. The price of about 1000 bucks is quite steep, but all things considered, the Himo Z16 Max is an excellent quality compact e-bike that I can easily recommend. What do you think about the Himo Z16 Max? Would you buy this e-bike or would you choose another option? As always, like the video if you liked it, please ask me any questions in the comment section down below and as always, it was Linus, thank you for watching and see you soon.